Hello, hello. It's a Wednesday. And we're halfway through the week. Actually more, we're, we made it past hump day. So that's always good. We're just gonna give it a little time so we can see if anyone's gonna join us this evening. Ooh, I see Brenta. Oh, what happened here? So, <laughs> you, oh my God, I know it. And I've been trying to find you all week. So I'm gonna call you when I'm done with this because I miss your voice. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. That I'm glad you're joined tonight because I got a friend request from you. So have you been... To, I can't believe we're not friends on Facebook already. So unless you got hacked, we'll have to take a peek at that when I'm done. Hey, Julie. Oh, I don't know about you, but sometimes it just feels like Friday's never going to get here. I'm having one of those weeks, right? <laughs> So tonight, I, well, I have a surprise because I didn't tell you about part of it. So I'm going to show you some of the new stuff from the catalog when we're done with our cards. Plus, I have a giveaway. So you want to make sure you stay till the end and I can tell you how to get entered. Um, one of the ways I can tell you, <laughs> oh, I get smiley faces, but I think it's delayed. Hey, Chris. Oh, it's your first time. Cool. Hopefully um, you're entertained. You'll learn something. It's all good. <laughs> so tonight um, I'm going to show you how I made this and I got a couple other samples that I'm going to show you. And as I was saying, no, we are not friends, Diane. I'm going to fix that when we're done. Cool. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> so um, yes. Okay. So back to it. God, I'm squirrely today too. So I'm gonna show you how I made this, plus a couple other samples, and then behind me on my table, I can't stand it. I, I have to show you some of the new product because it's just, oh. You guys, I don't tell Michael. Hopefully he doesn't watch this later. <laughs> but I have ordered three times out of that catalog already, and you guys haven't, this hasn't even went live yet. It's that, it's that bad, if, if that makes sense. So yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I still have more to buy because it is absolutely nuts. But I'm gonna show you some of my favorites from the catalog that we've done so far. So tonight, we're gonna talk about varied vases. So this is the stamp set and I love it because it's got a matching punch, okay? And this, I have to tell you, so if you're new to stamping, um, this is going to be a photopolymer set, and as you see, mine has been tenderly used already. I've got lots of pink and red, and you'll see on my samples why it looks this color. Um, but I want to show you something, because in the catalog, there are going to be, this is an emblem, and that says a million dollars if you can't see it. And one of the perks when you sell a million dollars from Stamp It Up, and I, I know you're just weighted on, on baited foot when I hit that, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'd have to get seriously busy, but I did hit 100,000, I think it was last year. So it's in your career sales. But once you hit this landmark, you get to sit down with one of the Stamp It Up artists and you get to design your own stamp set. Is that not cool? So this is um, was designed from one of my idols and I stalk her and you know who she is, her Mary, uh, Mary Fish. So if you know her, uh, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And this looks like her too. I mean, it's just totally her style. Um, but Mary Fish got to design this one and it's really super easy to use and it's very versatile. I was very surprised when I started using that. So on this one, it's gonna be, like I said, photopolymer. And I wanted to show you a little trick that I do with my photopolymer too. So as you see, I've got it on either side. So this one's got lots of stamps in it. I don't like to keep the film over it. So when you get these, it comes with a protective film. Hey, Jess, uh, you know, what would you design? Oh, Julie, this is funny because anyone that knows me really, really well already knows the answer and, and they're gonna tell you trees, anything to do with trees. Um, I will never get tired of uh, Lovely as a Tree. And as you, uh, tonight you'll see that Stamp It Up has come back and given us another tree set. And I just went nuts. I love, love trees. So it would be something with trees. Maybe a bald eagle sitting in the tree too. 
<laughs> okay, so stamp set. So I take the protective film off of these and I throw it away. Yeah, I know. I could recycle it, do something with it, but I throw it away. And then what I do is I, so this is the piece that they come stuck on. And I actually put double-sided tape, stick it right to my um, case. And then they each are on the side. What's nice is they don't stick together then because you know these are really super sticky. And then um, they won't touch. So when it opens, they're always in place and you can see where they go. So the picture is actually behind it and it comes right on there. So that's what I do. That was a, one little trick that I have done with my photopolymer that I kind of love. But um, tonight we're going to use this and we're actually just going to use, I already have the tree set on my list. Ooh, are you talking about the new tree set that I peaked? Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. It is absolutely gorgeous. So um, when I use my punches, I always use my punches upside down. And the reason being is you don't waste as much paper, okay? So on this one, let me grab another, I need a longer piece here, hang on. This is actually a class card, so they got to make this Last weekend was class, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sample aside up here just a little bit. Okay, so I have this piece and I'm going to open this one up. Have you guys seen this Mary Merlot? Sorry, it just kind of matches my fingernails. I just noticed that. But Mary Merlot is a new color this year and actually part of the neutral family. It's really pretty. It reminds me of Cranberry Crisp from, which was an, uh, uh, God, was it a in color? Oh God, I don't want to say it's going to date me, right? One of the first in colors, but it's really pretty. I love it. So I'm just going to open this and maybe slide it. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my dirty block here. My trusty dirty block, right? <laughs> so I keep my uh, stamps and I'm going to turn it this way and you'll see why in a minute. So I always like to look so I know which because I'm going to stick that piece of paper in there and try to use it the best I can. So I'm going to stamp up here and I like to put my stamp right on there and I pick it up with my block. Okay. And I get a little bit of ink and of course I got to grab my handy dandy mat. So I have something really good to stamp on here. Makes it so much easier and especially when these vases, they're so smooth, then you can get a really good image on here. Okay, so there's my first vase. Now if I got really good, we could just line these up one at a time, right? So on my sample, I'm gonna do it just like the sample here too. So I'm gonna do a plain one. And what I like is when you cut your sheets like this, I can go right up and very minimal waste. I could have even cut this one down um, a little bit more narrow. Because I'm just going to keep sticking it in there. You'll see in a minute here. I'm sorry, I have to clean in between. It's just, it's a horrible... I know I could let them go, but I like them to be clean. Anybody an Indiana Jones fan out there? Was out when you were new? <laughs> yes, it was Jess, right? So I'm going to stamp this one. Let me see here, going this way. So when I was playing with this the first time, Indiana Jones, doesn't this look like, um, God, what was the cup? The youth cup. Holy Grail, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had to think about it. It looks like the Holy Grail. You could make that into a wine glass too, right? Okay, so let me put this aside and we'll put this one up here. So now when I punch, I can go right down. Oh, see, I already did a boo-boo, right? No way. Yeah, okay. See, so if you noticed, see I was trying to cut a corner here, but this it's not all lost because I'm gonna show you another trick. So I'm gonna cut these apart just like this. And no, I'm not gonna cut them out by hand because that would just be silly. So now I can stick this one in here. I gave the, now I gave the song going through my head now. Ooh, which one? What song? Was I singing and I didn't even know it? The Holy Grail song. So I'm gonna put, sorry, lining it up here. I'm gonna get that one first. Now, notice that I have these here. 
You should always have post-it notes in your arsenal. Why? Because it's gonna help you cut. Let's see here, so this one goes like this. It's gonna be your second set of hands. So I, all I did was use a sticky side of there, and now I'm gonna stick it in here, except I'm left-handed, so come on. Here we go. So then I can hold it there. Even though I was trying to save time, I still can get that one in there. Oh, my father-in-law retired from 3M, so we definitely have enough post-it notes in this house. Okay, and then I got one more vase. I'm even gonna see if I'm gonna be frugal and use that little sticky right here. So I don't need that much to get in there. Okay. Whoop. Let me rip this off. It's getting in the way. Hang in there. It'll be so much worth it. I promise. So I'm going to line this up here and cut this out. Okay. So now if you look at my card, so we've got all three of these and I like, um, I don't know. And I guess to me, I've always, Christine, well, sorry. <laughs> Love that. Too. Right. Post-it notes, who would have thunk it, right? Because we, we were using post-it notes to mask last time too to cover up where we didn't want to stamp. And you can actually, I'm going to show you on this one too. So these three bases, so if you look on here, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to finish it, but I'm going to show you a little trick with these. So this one, if you look, I glued these two down and then just popped the, little one, the one in the middle up just to give it a little dimension. And of course, what did I use? wink of Stella there, just to make those diamonds pop out. So now, before, you've got all these different flowers that you can pick from. So one of the tricks that I wanna show you is how do you get those flowers in there without getting in the way of the vase? So, and what I mean by that is if you look, let me get this stamp so you can see it. It's quite long, which I like, because if you were gonna do something different with it, I'm gonna show you here. So see how long it is? Well, if you look, even if you put it on your vase like that, you'd have to have it just right because if you get it too high, the stem's gonna come out the wrong side. So my tip for this is to line up your vases kind of the way that you want them. And it's not to, don't you don't wanna put them down yet. So I'm just gonna line these up kind of where I'm going to position them. And then we're gonna get our other handy dandy tool a number two pencil <laughs> and all you're gonna do is lightly put a mark at the top of the vase and the bottom of the vase and you don't have to cut you don't you have to outline the whole vase what you're doing is knowing where your stem can go okay so when I put this on my block I know that's the bottom of it so I can position that hopefully you can see that let me see I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna come down here just a little bit closer. It's easier to see your comment. Sorry, I know I'm wiggling it really bad, but just hang in there. It'll be worth it. Okay, so right here are my lines. Okay, and then you can position that right so your, your um, vase is gonna cover up your stems. Pretty cool, right? The other thing I like about this stamp set is um, you can, because it's photopolymer, hang on, I'm just moving this back up. I'm sorry, I hate to wiggle this. But you know this isn't, uh, it's like you're stamping with me because I wiggle around too, right? <laughs> so, um, hang on here. Oh, Indiana Jones theme song, gotcha, Jess. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Or was that like Magnum PI? I don't know. I gotcha. Okay. God dang. Hang on. I want to let go. Okay. So the other thing I like about having the photopolymer is more for this. So you've got all these beautiful flowers. So I will turn my block around because this is where, you know, it's going to go down. Okay. But the nice thing with photopolymer is look at here. You can move them around and stick it on there so you don't have to have straight flowers. I mean, you can torque this and get some beautiful stems 
that aren't just the way they are. So you, you can only do that with um, photopolymer. You can't do that with the rubber ones. You can't do it with wood blocks. So one of the things I like about photopolymer is you can do whatever you want and just make sure you stick it on the block and it'll hold the shape with whatever you want it. Okay, if you wanna see some more samples. Okay, let's see here. So let me clean this up before I get ink where I don't want it or help at least close the ink, right? Because that one's a dark one. It will, it will leave a little bit of a stain. Okay, so let me put this up here. Oh, and don't lose the stamp. So this was the first one. Um, okay, Mary Merlot. All right, so here's another one. Look at this one. So this is actually a new um, folder in the brand, uh, big catalog, and it literally feels like tufts. You can feel those diamonds, and then they've got these tiny little, I've even seen um, cards where every one of these, they've put a diamond. <laughs> that one was a little bit over for me, <laughs> but I love the little tufts. And this, you know, last time Poppy Parade, so this red is Poppy Parade, and when it came out as an in color, I think like four or five years ago, I wasn't really into it, but when we got Balmy Blue, Balmy Blue and Poppy are just absolutely very striking together. And also, I want to tell you this tip because this, I hear this a lot, where people are saying, I can't cut straight. If you notice, I purposely cut crooked, and I think it adds a little bit of a modern twist to it. So I really fussy cut this and kind of, you know, cut it at different angles, and I really liked the way that it turned out. Okay, so this is Balmy Blue and Poppy Parade, and that's just using one of the vases. Okay. This one might be my favorite though. So this, it's fall. Probably it's because it's cranberry crisp. I love cranberry crisp in the fall. I think I go through it like water. So this is using cranberry crisp, the DSP. So all I did, I didn't even stamp on this one. This is cutting out of uh, designer series paper. And I colored with the same color ink. Now, if you notice here, see how I got the two different colors? What I do is on darker inks, if you stamp on a piece of scratch paper first and then stamp, you get this nice um, just kissing cousin color and it's the same color, it's just um, not as dark. So, and of course, yeah, Wink of Stella on there. And then again, I fussy cut and just kind of cut it crooked. So it's, it's very simple, um, but I also like adding texture. So this is, again, that subtle folder. If you, do, I'm sorry, if you do not have this in your arsenal, you need to get this folder. It is so pretty. It adds just the right amount of texture. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so those are the f those are the three ideas I had for this one, and I'm gonna post after this. This is a bundle, so you can get the punch and um, the stamp set all together. So, and cool it is. And Mary Fish, lots of ideas for this one on Pinterest too. So don't forget. Right now, it is bonus day, so every 50 that you spend, you get um, a $5 off bonus coupon to spend in September. Yay! Guess how many I have? No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> because as a demonstrator, the nice thing, Stamp It Up lets us have that discount too. So, so every 50 that you spend in August, you're going to get $5 to spend in September. And then also, if you use this current hostess code when you enter um, an order on my website, you also get another free gift from me. So make sure that you um, get that done before the end of August because you're going to have some fun. Do you want to see some new product? I know you're waiting. So we're going to do new product first. And then when I'm done, I got to raise this up because I have so much to show you. It is that sick. <laughs> um, and then when I'm done showing you that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give something away that you're really going to love. It's a whole kit. Even if you don't have any stamp supplies, you're still gonna love what I'm gonna give. Or you have the chance to win, I should say. Is it gonna hold still now? Maybe. God, it's my gooseneck is just not having fun tonight. Or maybe it's the operator. It could be, hang on here. Let's try this one more time. Okay. It might be a little bit crooked, but hang in there. Okay, so first, okay. I love containers. No, I just, hang on here. One more time, hang in there. Because it's really gonna be better if we're up in the air here. So, look at here. It's so pretty. It is a tin. 
it is a Christmas tin. So it, and it's big. So if you see my hand, it's definitely big enough to put anything that you want in it. I got it because I thought it would be fun to put a Christmas gift in. So my Christmas wrapping. Hang on one more time, guys. I'm sorry. It just keeps, my phone is so heavy. It keeps falling down. It's kind of like the guy with no belt on, right? Pants keep falling down. <laughs> so, okay. So it's not just a tin. It comes with goodies. So here's a new punch. Let's see if I can hold it there so you can see it. It's a good um, square. And to me, it's probably, if you know the ink spots, to me, it looks like about the size of the ink spot. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Okay, you get two ink spots. You get real red, call me clover. But, oh, and a block. Who couldn't use another block? But this is why I got it. Look at these stamp sets. Let me turn around so we can read them. Okay, sending Christmas wishes. Jingle all the way. Oh, isn't that one pretty? Peace and joy. Let's see. Heaven and nature sing. I'm gonna turn these. They didn't put them all the same way. What is this one? Have a holly jolly Christmas. And may your season be merry and bright. Isn't it cute? So you get the stamp set, the two ink spots, the block, punch, and the gorgeous box. Seriously, how much? That is just like a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, the next one was also one of my favorites. Every year I like to make card kits. And we've been fortunate enough to get these beautiful tins. What I thought were beautiful until I saw this one. Look at this. So they've come with another tin. Dang, my, you know, hang in there, guys. Hang in there. My phone literally just keeps falling. I need a belt for my phone. Right? Ooh, is that going to stay now? Oh, much better. Okay. Okay. So this, if you got the celebration box, oh, two years ago, it had gold and white stripes, I believe. I've given them all away. But um, what you can do, let me get your cards so you can see. You can put dividers in here, and it is the perfect size to give a box of cards to somebody for Christmas. And I know the ones that I have given these to, I did... Of course, they don't want to use them because they don't want to lose them. <laughs> They're like, I can't, how can I give them away? No, you need to give them away. But it is, it's distressed on purpose. It is gorgeous. So it's cherry cobbler. Oh, that's a good idea, Jess. Um, and then a vanilla stripe. So this is part of the home kit that is coming. I'm going to show you the stamp set. So those are the two tins. And then... Oh my goodness, there is so much, guys. Hang on. So there's lots of folders. Hang on. Okay. Let's talk a few folders. So look at here. Isn't this one pretty? So what you see is what you get here. So you're going to feel all of those um, swirlies. And I've actually seen somebody put this through with a foam sheet and make a stamp that looks like this too. So you can get the texture and the stamping if you want. But you know you can put ink on these and stamp with them. Or I'm going to do that down the road again just to show, but it's really cool. So this one, we have a dynamic one, meaning it's going to be super bumpy. And this is just going to be a corrugated, corrugated look, like corrugated with this one. <gasps> I had to do this so you could see it for real. Okay, so look at that print. So I think they're calling this a tin ceiling. No, I can't remember. Might have to look that one up, but I gotta show you what it does. Are you ready? Oh, it makes tin ceilings. So we have new um, galvanized paper, meaning it's kind of silver. It's like the silver paper, but it's like a matte finish. Isn't that pretty? So all I did was run that through that folder. It is gorgeous. And I thought about rubbing it with a little bit of copper, but this is one side, are you ready? They're just, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So the galvanized paper is in the catalog too. Okay, you know I can't stand it. Are you ready? Look at, 
that's the trees. Isn't that gorgeous? I swear I just about dropped out of my chair when I saw this. <laughs> Look at those beautiful trees. I like the trees that are realistic to nature. And of course, look at here, ready? Ooh, matching framelits, more trees. <laughs> so these don't cut out these, um, but when you get the catalog, you're gonna see these are absolutely gorgeous to use with these feathery looking trees, okay? And this is the first time they have given us, so these framelits, let me move this down so you can see, see this twig right here? So sometimes when we wanted to do like a wreath or something, you need to cut it so many times, guess what? They gave us three of the same framelit so we can cut multiples at once. I literally just gasped when I saw this and it was the first one I had to get. So this one too, you're gonna be able to cut the, the evergreen tree, but then this one will give you some texture to make it pop up a little bit. Gorgeous. This was my very first, I had to have it right now. <laughs> this one. So if you guys remember last year, we had this beautiful Christmas paper. It was black and white checked. And last year, um, on, I think it was either one of my Facebook lives or I did a video on this. And I had went over this in Pacific Point, beautiful guy print. Guess what? Now we have, we can make our Buffalo check in any color. And yes, I'm going to be using this. Um, very soon. So I've seen this done in almost every color stamp it up. It's gorgeous But my intent is to stamp some of these black and then put some color on it, too So you get the black in color Very cute. Very cute. Okay What else? How about some sparkly? Look at here We have some new glitter paper <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So this is a whole pack of glimmer paper. It's six by six so we get the coppery color. We get, um, this looks like cherry cobbler. And I think this might be, they might be calling this the, is it the spruce, I think? Very traditionally colors, but they're so pretty. Love them. So sparkly paper. Okay, hang tight. All right, and we're gonna get some, ooh. See, I got so excited, yeah. <laughs> and now these are, this is, I know Brenda's still watching. When I saw these, they totally speak Brenda. They're um, cute buttons. Look at here. So they're kind of warped, which is cool. But they're going to come with the home. Um, there's a stamp set I'm going to show you. Yeah, they're very cute. But I'm surprised because they're very light in my hand. But they are totally Brenda. Brenda Bovia, I, they got your name all over them. Right? Okay. Now, I have used this before, and this, it retired. So we used to have this a couple years ago, and they brought it back, praise the Lord, because I was running low. Um, but <laughs> this is, it's called um, Shimmer Paint. And what I do is actually mix this in an aqua paint. And I think I did a Facebook Live, but we're going to end up doing it again. So I take my aqua pens. And there's going to be a frosted white bottle of this that's going to be available. I'm holding um, champagne, and this is copper. These are two new colors, okay? So when I had this before, the frosted white, I will fill my aqua pen with half rubbing alcohol, half water. Then I put about four or five drops of that shimmer paint in there. And if I want to make it colored, I'll put a drop or two of color. And as you see, now I have shimmer in any color I want. So all you have to do is shake it, and I can either color with it like you do for the Wink of Stella, or a lot of times I hit it on my finger and add splatter to my cards. But the alcohol will make it dry very fast, and it's really cool. So I was very excited that these came back and in new colors. Okay? And <laughs> then we've got some wood. Um, words that we have here. So we've got some trees, joy, um, Noel, Mary. Oop, I just lost a tree. He's so tiny. And let me see. You get two sheets of those. So you'll, I used it in spritz. Yes, very good idea, Jess, because yeah, you can uh, spritz with it too. I tend to get a little away, with, uh, get a little crazy with the spraying. <laughs> so that's why I started putting it in an aqua pen. It's more controlled. Um, 
but these are wood white, okay? But of course, they're gonna be wood on the back. It's just your, your letters. You can use your trees that way, but your letters will be backwards, okay? And it keeps coming. So we also have this. So you can get matching cards. Look at this, isn't this pretty? It comes in gold and silver, so you get matching envelopes and cardstock. This is a kit that's coming. 40 pieces, so you get 20 card stocks, 20 envelopes. And you know what? Hopefully you can see, yeah, they're very, they're vellum -y envelopes. I love them. They're so pretty, so you can kind of see the little uh, decorations when they mail. So that comes in gold and silver. Okay. Um, how about some, oh, I just saw something, yes. It's like a squirrel moment. So we also have this beautiful ribbon that's coming to Brenda Bovey. This is another one. So this is burlap, and it's got a tiny strip of cherry cobbler in the middle and very vanilla. What I've seen is they're cutting this, and they can sh they can uh, shred it so you get some of that antique looky Old, yes. It's a, this is a, I know I'm glad, Julie. Because I was, you know what? I just got tired of, of not sharing the new stuff because I, it's hard to wait because <laughs> it's been fun. Um, we also have, look at these. So these are paper clips that are coming. You get stars and trees. They are going to be cute to add to cards. Okay, so I had to get two of those because I got a project with that. <laughs> and so let me grab, hang on here because have to look in my set here. Oh, here they are. Okay. So this one is one that I've been playing with already. Look at here. So this, there is a whole suite, a whole page with this farmhouse Christmas. It is adorable. Um, but what you don't see in this is this. So there is a framelit that comes with it. Look at that a picket fence. So it, it won't have a stamp in here, but it's got a framelit. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it is, um, I've done them in white and then I've done this out of the wood paper, but look at how cute that is. And you know the trick I used um, with the downy sheets? You don't even need the downy sheets for this. It cuts out, it was beautiful. I wish I could figure out something to use with the scraps in the middle because they're perfect scraps. Okay, so this is a suite, yes, and it's got matching framelits. Let me see what else here. Oh, there's so much, you guys. Oh, this one. This is a fall set. And, yep, Brenda. Brenda's saying, oh, yes, I love it. So this is a cute milk cran. This one does not have framelits, so um, it'll be stamping and coloring, but I like that because the catalog, I think we got another six new colors of blends. So <laughs> there's definitely enough to color with, but I loved the sediments in this one. And I love that it's got some um, foliage and cottony things that you can put in the vase for fall. And I will be working with this, um, probably not till September, but we'll be making stuff with this as well. And then <laughs> here, I love this one too. Wishing you well. I bought it for that bow because the bow is, oh yeah, the words too, yes. The words in that one are cute. That would be cute on a haunted house. Oh, are you talking um, the fence, Julie? Love that they have, yes, blends. <laughs> Amanda, they can, I think they need to do um, balmy blue in the blends. There's a couple colors that I'm like, dudes, you gotta get on the wagon. <laughs> There's a couple more colors that we need, but isn't that bowl pretty? And this I thought was really pretty too. This one's got good words too. Sending you, um, sending you our thoughts and prayers, wishing you well, just a note. But um, this is a good kind of everyday one, but you also get one for the holidays as well. Okay. Dang. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm like, I'm missing something, guys. So this weekend, dang it, so some of you that are crumb cakes on this stream, you're, you're gonna get to cheat a little bit. I'm not gonna show you what we're making, 
but we have a team meeting this weekend and they get to play with this. Oh my God, I just, I can't even handle it. It's that cute. Okay, so we got memory and Morse card, or memory and more card pack for Christmas. I have to get so you can fully appreciate this because they are stinking cute. Oh my goodness. So memories and more kits are gonna come with three to um, three by four inch cards. Look at how many you get. Okay, and you're always gonna get two of each. So if you fall in love with something, you're always gonna have a backup. Okay. We also have um, four by six sheets as well. But this one is um, what they call a specialty kit, meaning some of the sheets in here are going to have sprinkles. Look at that, how he glitters. Aren't they cute? And they're double-sided except the specialty ones. So this one that has glitter, there's not gonna be a back. But look at these stinking, they're just cute. Sheepers, creepers. So this one will be double-sided so you can have this side. Look at here, isn't he cute? And even if you um, didn't make your Christmas cards out of these, these would be cute to put in with your Christmas card and write a little note on it. I use these to send you guys your cards. So I write my note on these so you can use the cards over and over. But look at, aren't they cute? So this one, look at here, polka dots. Yes, kind of retro, yes. Cause it's kind of not, look at, oh my goodness, look at that one. You see the shimmer on that one? It's really cute. Oh my goodness. So the, here's a hint. You're gonna see more of these in the catalog. <laughs> so there's actually DSP, there is a stamp set, and there's framelits of these fat little elves coming. And Santa and Mrs. Claus. But look at here. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Okay, now to make it really easy, they came out with a card kit. So all you need to do is take, and they're already cut and scored for you. Look at here. All you do is take, let's not take the red on red. It's kind of hard on the eyes, right? But look at here. So all you have to do is take this, put it on the card, fold it. And it looks like it might need a little bit of something. Look at here. They got you covered there too. You get these cute stickers in the pack. Yes, all of it's in one pack. Look at these naughty or nice, happy memories. Um, arrows, look at here. So all you have to do is you could put like down here. Okay, I cheated. I already sent somebody one of these. So I took one of these and just put it on the bag. So I did, um, I can't remember, I think it said Merry Christmas on there. All I did was put that sticker on there. And there's one, oh, here they are. Guess what? You can add these to go with them. So you're not gonna be able to see this very well, but these are enamel, so they're kind of plump. They're, they stick up a little bit, but look at how cute are these. So you could put a tree on there. And I like that, th so this is when I was making this one, as you see, there was one missing. I can even try, and I put it on there to see if I like it. So it's like, do I wanna put a tree here? I can see what it kind of looks like, but these bows are cute. You could put a little bow on the, um, candy cane very cute so to me it's like this was this is an add-on to this because it's cute but look at all of these so you get I'm pretty sure you get 10 little ones with matching envelopes look at those stinking cute envelopes they're coming through orange on the camera but I promise this is poppy red so it's not going to be real red it's not going to be cranberry crisp it's kind of that um kind of an off red I kind of like it and then you get the big cards as well, too, with the matching envelopes. So this is also coming on a page, too, that you're going to want to make sure that you see. So I think there might be some odds and ends that I haven't shown you, but that holy moly, you guys, <gasps> that catalog, I finally went back. Yep, 10 of, 10 of each. Thank you, Brenda. Yes, yeah, so 10 big ones, 10 little ones. So literally, you could get a package of the card stocks, some... Um, the package of memory more and maybe some enamel and you've got your Christmas cards done. That's 20 unless you need to do more than that. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're up to a little over 40 for, Hey, and that's okay. Don't worry about it. You made it. Um, but that's an easy way to get your Christmas cards done. And I, next week 
I'm going to play with this. So you get to see, so the crumb cakes always get to see the projects first and the crumb cakes are my team if you are not aware of that. So they're gonna see a project of what I made to this, but next week I'm going to show you a project that I made with these cards. So, and Julie, you are going to make sure that you turn in next week because I'm actually, your project was an inspiration to make my project for next week. So make sure that you tune in and see that. But um, was that exciting? Who's excited to see the new catalog? Or I should say more, who's excited to order something? Because it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, are you ready for a giveaway? So I thought about this. And um, yesterday it was beautiful outside. I'm a fall girl. I love fall. I wish fall was four or five months, then one month in Minnesota, right? So as I was playing outside with um, Frank yesterday, I <laughs> one of the one of my guilty pre guilty pleasures in the fall is pumpkin spice latte. Actually, let's just call it what it is: pumpkin anything. I put it in my yogurt. I put it in my coffee. Anywhere I can put the pumpkin. So. If you share this video, you get an entry. You answer this question, are you pumpkin spice or are you not pumpkin spice, right? So respond with an answer there. And if you're not pumpkin spice, if you tell me what your favorite fall thing is, whether it be a treat or to go for a walk, Put that on this um, video as well, you get another entry. So you can get three entries from what I'm about to show you, okay? So sharing, a comment if you like pumpkin spice or not, and the third one, if you're not pumpkin spice, tell me what your fall tradition is, okay? So those of you, does anyone remember this box? Because it's it, it was last year, right? Anyone remember what this box is? Or how about here? A Sarah thing. <laughs> so our CEO last year designed a beautiful pumpkin kit. And um, it was one of my favorites to this day. And the reason why is because it came with a package of our beautiful watercolor pencils. And in, actually in some of my favorite colors. So here's what you could win. It is the kit, it is the kit. So look at these cards, aren't they pretty? The only thing that might not be in here, let me look here, if it's not, I'm gonna find it. Um, but you get the cards, look at these flowers. They were so cute. I love this kit. I think I bought four of this kit when the refills came out because it was so pretty. So you get washi tape, you get flowers, you get pop-up dots. You don't even need that and the ad adhesive is in there. There's a paintbrush in here to smudge your watercolor, but the kit is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna look in here, if the stamp set isn't in here, I'm gonna find one that goes with it that you'll be able to get it. So yes, three ways to win. It's a Sarah thing. I'm gonna give this away. Let's see, it's the 15th. I will draw a winner Saturday night. So three ways to win. Hopefully this is yours because it is gorgeous. The envelopes were even lined. Aren't those cute? Okay, so I know we got a little bit long tonight, but there was so much to show you I couldn't wait. And hopefully you enjoyed the projects. I'm gonna post the still pictures soon. And um, next week, this is going to be a regular thing. I think I've already got five projects. So I'm done with five weeks that I can show you. So this is going to be a regular thing. Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock seems to work the best, so I'm going to stick with that, and hopefully you can join us next week. Thank you for joining me tonight, and have a wonderful rest of your evening.